it's 2024 and there's AI everywhere. You have AI for songwriters, you have AI for video editors, AI for content creators. But in this video, I will show you AI for developers and DevOps engineers like you and me. I am talking about Pieces for Developers, an amazing AI tool just for developers. Pieces has so many amazing features like support for multiple AI models, live context, VS Code integration and many more that I will show you in this video. Let's begin by installing Pieces in our laptop first. So I have Pieces already installed in my Windows machine and I will be installing Pieces in this Ubuntu laptop now. So you can click on install desktop app. Pieces is supported by macOS, Windows and Linux. I am using Ubuntu 24, so I will be installing Pieces on this laptop now. So I'm going to run this commands to install Pieces in my laptop very quickly. So when you install Pieces, it comes along with Pieces OS and the Pieces desktop app. Now Pieces is installed and if I search for Pieces, you can see the OS and the desktop app. This is what we will be using. After you install Pieces, this is the screen you will see. So click on Personalization Preference and select all the options here. The more accurate options you select, more accurate results you will get. So for personal, I'm selecting DevOps because I work as a DevOps engineer, but I also work on backend sometimes. For languages, I'm going to select Python and Goline because that's the language I work mostly on. I can also select Shell here. For typical toolchain, I'm selecting VS Code, Google Chrome, Slack. If you're using Microsoft Edge or Teams, you can also select that. For experience level, I'm selecting intermediate. And for project types, I'm selecting both because I work with Teams, but also individual. Here you can select things like workflow. So I'm going to select Copilot Chats option here. If you're confused, you can always click on previews to see what is this workflow type. For all the other options like search engine, I'm selecting the re recommended option, which is the blended search and the sort mode as recent, which is also recommended. Anytime you're confused, you can always select the default option and come back again because you can always change this. This is the page where you can select the AI model you want to use with pieces. So you have an option to install the AI model right in your machine. So you don't have to worry about security. If you are a company or an organization who don't want the data to go out, you can use pieces where you can install different AI models right in your machine. So you have options like Llama, Pi, Gemma, Granite by IBM and so on. If you want to use any of these, you will have to download it. So make sure you're using a strong machine if you're downloading it. Or else you can always use the cloud model. So I'm going to be using GPT-4, which is the recommended option here. Next, if you want to connect your GitHub account, your Microsoft Teams or Google account, you can also do it here. I'm going to skip that for now. All right, we are now ready to get started with using pieces. This is the interface you will see. Let's begin with giving a prog to pieces. So I'm going to ask pieces to create me a Python script. So here is the prog. I'm asking pieces to create me a Python script for my Postgres database every Friday, a common DevOps task. So you can see the interface is very similar to ChatGPT, but pieces is a lot better than ChatGPT because you have options to change AI models. Right now I'm using GPT-4, which is similar to what ChatGPT uses, but you can always change it to use AI models from Google, from OpenAI, from Altropic, like Cloud, or from Palm to as well. When using ChatGPT, you can often get wrong results. This is why you can use pieces where you can compare results from different AI models. So if I don't like the response from GPT-4, I can change to use Gemini, let's say 1.5 Pro, and then I'm going to ask we says to create me the same script again with this Gemini model. This way you can compare results from different AI models and make sure you get the right one for your task. Another big problem that we face often when using AI tools like ChatGPT, you have to give a prompt. And if you give a wrong prompt, you get wrong results. But what if I tell you pieces can shadow your work? It can check what you're working on and you don't have to pass a prompt. You just need to simply ask and it will give you accurate results. Let me show you how it's done. So it's done using this live context. When you turn on live context, everything you do in your laptop will be dragged by pieces and you can ask questions if you face any issues. For example, let's say I am working on Terraform to create my infrastructure and when running Terraform init command, I get this error, something about modules. So if I use ChatGPT to solve this issue, I have to describe everything that I have this code, I'm getting this error on this particular line. But with pieces, you don't have to do anything. It will automatically check what was the issue because it is tracking your work. This is why using live context 
it gets the context around the problem and you need to simply ask why do I get me edit? How to solve it? So you can see it says you're getting error with Terraform in it and you got the error because there's something wrong with your module. Through this, you're giving pieces power to check your work and it can provide you accurate results, not like ChatGPT where you give wrong prompts and get wrong results. Here, using live context, you can let AI watch you and see what you are doing to provide you with accurate results. This is amazing. Not just this, if you want pieces AI to be used in your VS code while you are working on a project, you can also do that because pieces have an extension for VS code. So you can simply search for pieces and you can find the extension in the VS code that you can install. I have it already installed. Let me show you how you can use it. So if I'm if I want to get information about a particular code or maybe change something right in my VS code, I can use pieces for that. Select the code you want to check and then ask Copilot. Let's say I want it to explain me what is this code and say explain. And then you get the explanation right in your VS code. It's going to explain you what this block of code is. You can also ask it to change it or maybe add some other uh, snippet if you want. Right, so you can see it's giving you a summary of what this Terraform code is about. Next, let's try to ask it to solve the issue that we have here. And we'll ask, can you fix this? And then it will give you the response right in your VS code because we have VS code extension installed for pieces. So this is how you can use it. Now it is giving us uh, the code that I can, if I want, I can go ahead and apply it to Y. I can say insert to cursors. Now I have the code here. I can also get this on my pieces app if I want to. So this is how you can use pieces while working on your projects in VS Code as well. Along with this, if you want pieces to work along with you on a particular project, you can also add your folders right in here. So if I click on move chat and select folders, you can start creating your project along with pieces to help you out. So I can say add folders and I can select the project folder that I want to work along with pieces. And while you work on it, Pieces will help you with all its AI capabilities that you can use. So let's say I'm working on a project, uh, maybe a project that we did recently, which is Open Telemetry Demo Project. I can click on OK here, and now the folder is imported inside Pieces. I can start working with Pieces on this particular project. I can ask questions uh, as I want. So let's say I want to ask a question on how I can use some other tool. How can I use Datadog? for this project. Now, it will give you answers based on the project folder that you have added in the pieces. So it will go through the project to understand and give you the correct response. So now pieces will check the folder that you have added here and give you the correct response going through all the files inside the folder. And you can see it's telling you, if you want to use Datadog, you have to check this config file, which is exactly what I explained in the previous project. So this is how you can work on an entire project using pieces. So we have seen so many different benefits you get when using pieces AI, and I would recommend you checking it out. It's absolutely free and you can install it from the link in the description. But there's also one more helpful feature that you should definitely check about. Let's assume you're watching a project on my channel, maybe an open telemetry project. Then in this project, I'm talking about a particular file that you don't understand. And I'm asking you to understand it because DevOps engineers should know how this file works. So now what you can do is take a screenshot of this particular file. And then once you take a screenshot, go to pieces. Let's open this in pieces. I'm going to go to screenshots here. Pictures, screenshots. And now I'm going to just put this image here. Once you do this, pieces is going to extract the code from this particular image. And you can ask pieces to explain it to you. Now I can ask pieces to explain me what this code is. Ex explain me this file. So if you go ahead and explain with this file, this will increase your productivity by 10x and also help you understand concepts. So you should definitely give pieces a try. So this was pieces for you, an amazing AI tool that will help you increase your productivity by 10x, 20x. Every developer and DevOps engineer should definitely check it out. It's free and the link is in description. I hope this video was informative to help you understand how pieces can help you in your workflows. Thank you and have a good day.